Hey, what's going on guys? Today we are pulling for the Brachiosaur Vision Card. Now this Vision Card is actually a much needed Vision Card. Any kind of fire support is much needed. The Esper is kind of like, okay, I guess. It doesn't even have a an animation, but I did find this on YouTube. So there you go, guys. If you're wondering why it boosts your missile attack, that's why. Okay, so let's just get into this, and first I'm going to start here with this random free ticket, and let's see if we could get anything off of this. Probably not, but worth a shot. And I probably should have waited another day for the free ticket, for tomorrow's free ticket, but honestly, any single poll is just terrible. Not terrible, I mean, like it is possible. I've done it in the past, but any single 1x poll is probably not going to get you anything all right let me make sure i'm up here in the guaranteed summon and let's go for this okay guys so <clears throat> let's see what we get here i'm gonna skip and it is it is two vision cards actually so i wonder if this is only vision cards can be uh you are all right, let's see if this upgrades. Nope. Okay, what else? What else we got? What else we got? No, nothing. I, I think for vision cards, vision cards are like so easy to build. MR are basically not worth anything anymore for me. Uh, or for anyone that's been playing for, for a long time. I usually do the gill summons. Uh, and you should be able to build up your MR vision cards pretty easily. Just by doing the gill summons, so... Okay, so this is a unit, so I don't know if that means that this is going to be, it has to be MR, I don't know. So let's just skip, because we, even if it was a, a unit, we probably don't even care. Let me go back and double check that. Um, drop rates. UR. So yeah, you can get UR units, okay. So just double checking. All right, so I didn't even see if this was one of those where you can get like free shards if you pull it twice, but this is probably not gonna be the one. All right, so I guess we'll go through all this one all the way to the VC at least. If it's a unit, I don't really care if it's just a unit. I mean, I probably care, but it's not gonna be anything crazy. All right. Just skip. <clears throat> All right, so that's three steps down already. Man, they make me spend my viz pretty quickly here. 79,000 viz right now. Another white book. Okay, so let's go to the end of this one. <clears throat> okay, something upgraded to yellow. Okay. Mm hmm all blue all blue here's a yellow does it upgrade no sir all right so pretty much had to go all the way for this nothing crazy pretty much what we expected i am not super shocked about that <clears throat> okay so it's a gold book at least so maybe there's a chance of getting something else okay so we're gonna run it through I know it's guaranteed and everything, but you do get that little crappy little animation. It's not the same as a walkout animation, but at least it's an Esper animation, right? So might as well go all the way and show that little animation there. Boom, there it is. <laughs> all right. So now I wanted to talk a little bit about the fire meta. <clears throat> because I know that people have been um, saying how much fire sucks and I kind of I get it for sure the thing with fire units is that they've really never been that great to be honest um, I was kind of thinking back at impactful fire units and really the only one that I think had that big of an impact was rain because rain was really good for his limit burst that has the fire imperil so he was really good for raids i know king ma is good as a tank but like i feel like a tank doesn't really impact 
anything. Like, nobody really cares about a tank that much. Unless you're something like Agrius or Doom, who's just like a really cool waifu character. Okay, so Rain made an impact in terms of his limit burst, in terms of being really good for raids. Um, Rain also got his vision card and his EX, the encounter of heroes. So I think at that time he was actually pretty good. And when that vision card came out, that was a big bonus for King Mon. But I think other than that, fire hasn't really been all that amazing. So kind of what I'm thinking about is what are the units that fire kind of had that people kind of hoped would be good, but weren't really that great, to be honest. So the first one I think of is Delita. Literally, Delita came out at the same time as Agrius, an ice unit. Technically, Delita should be able to kill Agrius without a problem. Somehow, Delita was not that good. I mean, he was definitely good for raids and stuff. I like Delita, but definitely was not good in terms of the perception. Uh, I'm pretty sure if you put your Delita up against an Agrius, that would probably be a fair fight. If not, Agrius would probably win because Agrius just has had better status effect so i don't think delita was ever really good as a meta unit um so one other thing about fire is king mont so if you guys don't know when king mont came out there was actually a lot of water support and it was when we first started getting ex units and one of the ex units that was out at the time when king mont came out was titus everybody got a free titus and I definitely remember doing Arena back in those days. I All I would run into was Titus teams. There was a ton of Titus teams. That was when Win Winter Victoria came out. Winter Victoria came out. Uh, Krace came out. So there was a lot of water teams. Like, And that was also when we were started getting those uh, elemental party buffs. So like, you know, plus whatever HP and attack for water elemental teams. That was all happening when King Monk came out. So... It's it just because I'm kind of just saying just because a unit is not great now doesn't mean that the unit is not useful doesn't mean that the unit's not going to be good in the future. So other than that, though, I don't know. I remember Winter Masha Reed did have a good time uh, when she came out. She like people really liked her. The Phoenix card came out almost at the same time. So that gave her a pretty big boost. Uh, I don't remember if she had her EX levels at that time. I'm pretty sure she did not. So I think she was a lot better in JP. And here on Global, you know, we kind of got screwed with that winter. Uh, I'm pretty sure. Yeah, yeah. So I just EX my Ramada. So definitely we didn't get the EX at the beginning. So we kind of got screwed in terms of that for the fire team, basically. Um, looking here, the only other person is Glacella. My Glacella is not that great. Um, I think Glacella, when she came out, she did have a little bit of an impact. Um, you could probably team her up with, like, King Mont and Rain at that point, or maybe, like, Summer Kitone. But, really, I don't know. Like, she didn't really stick around that much. I mean, I guess people are using her now, but I feel like she's not really like, you know, Elena levels or Black Witch Helena or anything like that. So again, just I think I've noticed the pattern or, you know, in terms of the global, like the game hasn't really given us a lot to work with here as a fire account. OK, so I think that's pretty much it. Right. And so that's kind of like the point I'm trying to make here is that. And again, Summer Ketone came out way later than she did here here in Global than she did in Japan. So we didn't really get that much of a chance to use Summer Ketone. So the point I'm trying to make is pretty much most of these units on, on the fire team weren't really that good when they came out. And of course, I know that there's a lot of vision cards that a lot of us skipped. But I think by the time that, you know, for example, some of those have to rerun, for example, the FFT one, the Keepers of the Crystals, I think by the time those rerun, I think we'll probably be in a very good shape. Not going to say we're going to be top of meta, but I think we're going to be in good shape in terms of that. Terra is coming soon. 
and so is her card. Her card, what it does is that it actually gives a uh, human killer or man eater, I guess you can call it, on magic attacks. So that's going to be super, super helpful in terms of doing insane amounts of damage. I think that's going to be really, really good. And that's for fire units, fire magic units. Okay, so I think Terra is going to be a big change. I know that we're going to get a water tank in the form of Celeste when she comes out. But I think Terra is going to be a big boon to the fire uh, team. So right now I'm using King Mont. Uh, Minwu and Ibarra. Ibarra is really, really good, and I think Terra is going to be on a similar level to Ibarra. So I am looking forward to using all three of them as a team. So that's pretty much my thoughts on the fire meta. Like I know we have to kind of, we actually probably need more newer fire cards aside from what we know and aside from what is going to rerun. Or they have to kind of change the global buffs or something like that for us to really be good. But the thing that I kind of noticed with fire cards is like, let's say, Encounter of Heroes. That card gives accuracy to rain and it gives strike resistance. So it's kind of designed to cover sort of their weaknesses. And I think even though if like a lot of us don't have cards like uh, Blades of Grass and the Keepers of the Crystal, those cards do exist. And so there's kind of an issue where we can't really, they can't really power anything up or give, give like new super powerful cards without taking those into account. Um, of course they can just re-release it, which would be really nice if they did. Um, by now JP would have had their re-release of Keepers of the Crystal. It re-released at the same time as Jaden's debut. So we're kind of missing out a few things here in global um that's kind of why i feel like global just in terms of fire support we're doing way way worse than jp is but there is potential for it in the future um i just i just think maybe it's just the fact that people are maybe are just pulling for wind units people are pulling for other units obviously wind has been getting a lot of support lately People are just pulling for other units and Gumi is like, yeah, let's make more units for the people who are pulling and, you know, spending money. Um, there was one other thing I was going to say. Okay, so one other thing that is a slight bonus to the fire uh, team, fire accounts, is if we go into events, we actually finally have a way to farm fire crists. So if we go here to the Setya Bow Quest, Fire Chris. So these are incredibly hard to get. I've been trying to get them. And the problem is if you have a Flame Tongue, if you have a bunch of recipes saved up, the Flame Tongue event did not give a lot of those. So I actually have enough to build four plus five Flame Tongues. So as you can see here, we, however, we do need a crap ton of those uh, fire Chris just to be able to so if I uncheck this a plus five requires 315 of those fire Chris and so I've been farming that fire bow so a lot of those there are kind of what should really be going to the fire bow and I'm probably I don't know if I'm gonna build it but you know if I want to build more flame tongues I'm gonna have to farm a whole crap like 315 times uh, three more basically at this point Oh, and I just remember what I was going to talk about. Keep in mind that we still don't have a fire global fest unit yet. We only have fire, wind, and water left, I believe. So there's a pretty good chance that we're going to get one soon. And if fire comes out soon, then that's going to be kind of rough for me because I don't have that much viz to spend. But hopefully I should be able to be okay for that. The other thing I wanted to mention is also we... we may possibly get the fire eldira coming out so that's gonna be i think she's gonna be a good unit on her own i don't really know if she's gonna work well with other fire units however you know any kind of fire support is 100 percent welcomed definitely i'm looking forward to that if we get that soon next week or if we get get it in the future i'm sure to get her if we get her in the future chances are she might be non-limited for whatever reason valentine's day stuff is limited 
in JP and not limited here. I think the Salir was to balance out the, the standard pool Dwayne in JP, but I don't really know what that means in terms of what we're going to get for Eldira, but it's it's really hard to tell now. If we, if we look at the Valentine's Day cards, they are not limited here in the global, but they're limited in JP. So that's kind of one other thing to keep in mind. I think that's really, that's all I wanted to talk about. Sorry, I kind of made this video long by talking about all that stuff, but hopefully you guys can sort of understand why. Um, but yeah, I'm just kind of, just trying to keep it positive for the fire units Shoot in the future. And hopefully we do get some support that comes out of that. All right, guys. Um, thank you guys for watching and I'll catch you in the next video. Peace out.